my friends. Hi guys. Thank you for joining me. So hang on, gotta get Instagram going. So good evening, my friends. Welcome, welcome. My name is Angela and I am the owner and creator of Energy from Elfman Helden. I'm a prem um, well, I'm a retailer for Woody Band over here in uh, Germany. Uh, near Frankfurt. So whenever you join, please let me know where you're watching from. Um, I'm always excited that uh, this is going all over the world and we have loads of people watching. Just gonna see if I get the comments. Oh, here we are. Hi, Valerie. Thank you for joining me. So, um, yeah, uh, this is the last, uh, well, the last would you bending uh, in 2020, and um, yeah, but this will be a carryover to the next uh, to the next year because this uh, there's quite a few things I want to do to it. This is um, a headboard from from a bed, probably not uh, the typical type, you know. Um, I unscrewed it from the back. This is just like those two panels. I'm going to bring you a little closer in a minute. Hello, Vera. Schön, dass du da bist. Hi, Woody Band. Thank you for joining me. So um, this is probably not like the the bed end you know. Um, this is basically screwed to the end. It's like two panels. I, I just want to make it plain and I want to make it a little nicer to um, to fit into my bedroom a little a little better. So I've got to have a sip of coffee and then we get going. Hi, Mary. Thank you for joining me. Guys, whenever you have a question, uh, just leave it in the comments. Um, I will see if I can answer that straight away. Otherwise, I will come back later and do that later. In the background, you can see the um, fireplace mantle we've done last week. This is basically finished now with the wings. So um, that's done. Okay. Um, I've brought this me. The Would You Bend, one of the, well, I love this piece. I was always uh, waiting or waiting the whole time to use it. Um, this is the um, 1729. I'm gonna bring that a little closer to you so you can see all those lovely details. Look at those details. Isn't that pretty? That's absolutely gorgeous. So this is gonna go in the middle of this, um, of this um, headboard. This is about almost two meters uh, long, this piece. So I'm not making it easy on myself with having no camera, man. So <laughs> let's see how I can handle that tonight. Okay, so then I have with me the, um, let me think. Those are the 1245. Those are those long, long legged, um, well, ornaments, which are gonna go on there. I'm gonna bring you closer in a second to show you how I'm going to lay those. And this is the 2157. Um, as per usual, something I have to cut apart. So I'm not, hello, Anja, moin. <laughs> so something I have to cut apart. So this, this piece will be cut apart and put at the ends. Okay, I'm going to bring you a little closer now so you can see what I am doing. And um, you don't need to see my face. That's not that interesting. It's more interesting what we do. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna go flying now. So this is basically the piece. Let's see what's the best view for you to get. I think this is probably around like this. Yeah, that's probably like this. Okay. So um, just tell me if this is uh, if this is weird for you, but I think this is probably quite all right. So this piece is gonna go here. And uh, I've brought some stencils with me also. I'm going to do some rice stenciling. And on the top panel, those um, ornaments are gonna go this way around, opposite to both sides at the end. And onto the end, as I said, is going to be this piece, but only half of it. So this is basically then the, the end of it. Can you see that? I'm going to lift you a little up and tilt you a bit down. So that's the way it is supposed to be at the end. And at the bottom here, I want to do some stenciling. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use, uh, this is going to be ray stenciling. 
if it's going to be the Hollywood and Wine stencil, which is this one, or if I'm going to do the Ray stenciling, Hallo liebe Heike, schön, dass du da bist. Or if I'm going to do the um, Raining in Paris, which is this one. I love them both. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm using this one or that one. So maybe you can decide for me which one you like more, Raining in Paris or the Hollywood and Wine. So thank you, Heike. <laughs> thank you. So let's get going. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put that on a criddle. For those who don't know the Woody Bands, they are made out of um, wood and oops. And um, when they are in a cold state, they behave like wood. So you can saw them, you can, um, they are hard like wood, they're solid like wood. You can saw them, you can drill them. Hello, Magdalia, nice to see you. <laughs> Oh, yes, Magdalia. Go to the Woody Band page and check for your local retailer. You can find everything there. So, um, and if you haven't got one, I'll be very happy to help you out, guys. Um, so, um, you can drill them, you can send them, you can um, break them, obviously, when they, because there's some, you know, they have got like nice details and a little fragile then. Raining in Paris, Annie, okay. Paris, the Anya of Paris. Okay, I think it's going to be raining in Paris, but you still have uh, time to decide. I don't know if we can make that today. So, and when they are warmed up, they get nice and bendy. And when they are nice and bendy, you can shape them around corners as this wood is a little shaped, you know, this panel. It's going to go around there. Um, you can, you know, um, bend it around bottles, around round shapes, whatever. And you can cut them also. So this one, you can see I've had laying on the criddle. This is already, this is already, um, this is already um, warm and nice and bendy. So I'm going to grab my board to cut it on. You can cut it with some scissors. You can cut it with an with a sharp knife. You know, like uh, this carpet knife I've got here. Oh, exactly. Thank you, would you bend? Thank you, would you bend? That's sweet. Yeah. But I always recommend to, to look for your local retailer. You know, I love to help you out, guys, but uh, we are sitting all in the same boat and um, it is important for all of, of us retailer to to make sure to, to get uh, some service. Okay. I've misplaced my ruler, so I'm going to take this one. It's just about fine. So, as I said, this is warmed up and you can cut it with an exacto knife. Just like this. So, so you cool down a little bit, but it's going to be fine, I think. Yeah. So that's cut it's already cooled down, so it's getting in a solid state again. But you can cut it nicely, and you have like a nice sharp edge. Also, um, if you want to send it down, you can send it down. You just grab some um, sandpaper, sanding sponge, or whatever, and you can just like when it's cooled down, like it is already now. Like the heating in here is not working that good, so you can nicely sand it so it's um, not as sharp edges anymore. So those ones are basically ready to put on the the end here. So I've like now pretty much similar pieces. I managed almost to get like the middle. And this one I want to have around on the end here. So now you can see where we're going. So, okay. We will, I think we will apply those first. I'm going to put them back on the krill just to warm those up. 
So to apply those, I will, I'm just going to get those out of the way before I drop them on the floor. I'm going to move you a little closer to this area. Maybe I should have wished for that for Christmas. The cameraman. Who wants to be my cameraman? Uh, um, Migdalia, I am in, uh, in Germany, actually. I sent throughout Europe, but... Um, uh, town of is is that New York or what I'm not sure but I'm sure there's like other retailers around there so I'm in I'm in Germany I can um, help you in Germany and Europe um, sending to the US uh, is not that uh, easy I found out it takes a lot of time so to apply the wood you bends you need some wood glue and you use the wood glue. Um, hello, Becky. Hi, Diane. Hi, Betty. Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you. That's sweet for sharing. That's uh, sharing is caring. That's sweet. Um, you use some regular um, good quality uh, wood glue. That's what you do for applying the wood you bends. And whatever surface you're applying uh, them to, um, they, you use uh, wood glue. Do you actually see that? I don't know what that is with my cat. She was chewing the lid yesterday. I don't know for whatever reason. You know, I'm just glad, you know, I keep that clean. But um, I caught her last night chewing. <laughs> oh, she's done very well. Squeezes out all the sides now. Can you see that? Oh, God. So... I usually say less is more, but with the applying the woody bands and the wood glue, I uh, always say um, just uh, put enough on there so it's nicely it's nicely covered and you can basically um, clean it off with a baby wipe. You can clean it off with a, with a brush, with a wet brush. So that all works fine. I'm just going to get that next to me. I told you this is going to be a challenge with this um, big piece. But uh, I'm handling it. Hi, see you. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Hi, Sully. Oh, I'm happy you're all there. Last, last um, life. Um, what you meant, life. So in 2020. So next year, guys, everything is going to be better. I hope so. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. As good as it uh, could be um, this year. I know it's all very different, the same over here. Um, we are still in the second uh, hard lockdown. So, um, and uh, New Year's Eve will be about the same. We won't have fireworks. So, while I, I'm not a great fan of fireworks, you know, I have cats and I always feel sorry for the, for the pets. But uh, New Year's Eve, um, fireworks are a big thing over here. And the, the, basically the meaning behind the fireworks is um, that you um, chase away um, the bad ghosts, so to say, you know, to, to start uh, to chase them away and to start the new year, um, you know, clean, so to say. So, and this year I really could, you know, need some bad ghosts being chased away. <laughs> So it's a bloody virus going around. Yes. So this one is going to go up here. Okay. You can see that's already cooled down again. So I've got my heat gun around the corner. I've got my heat gun here. You can, as I said, you can warm it up on a criddle like I've just did because that makes life a little easier for me. You can warm it up with a, with a hair dryer. You can use an embossing gun uh, and you can use a heat gun. So I've got a heat gun and the nice thing about this one is that you can adjust the, the heat. With the heat gun, you have to be careful. And I know why I'm saying that. Um, I'm the, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, with the heat gun, because it can get very, very hot, uh, you might 
you know, you can try your project, you can try the wiki bands, you can burn yourself a lot easier than if you are using a hairdryer. So for me, a hairdryer probably would be the safer thing to work with. So now I've got it on here. Now I'm pressing it, it's nice and warm again. Now I'm pressing it onto the surface. Make sure I'm going right up to the corner. So I'm over the corner a little bit. I can always send it down. You can move that um, wood you meant also to um, get the shape you want to have. And when you press it down, you're not compromising the, the details of the wood you bends. So this is the nice thing, you know, you're just making sure that they, um, that they apply um, solid onto the piece. And you do that, you know, the reheating and pressing it down, whatever surface uh, you're putting it onto. So even if you have, um, if you have, if you put it onto a mirror or something like that, or a window, always uh, reheat it because no surface is completely flat. You know, you might end up um, that it's not sticking properly. And also you always use uh, some good quality wood glue because that's, um, that's uh, flexible and stuff like that. So the reason I can take it off with a wet brush is that uh, the wood glue is, uh, I don't want to say anything wrong, but I, the, all the wood glues I know, they are water-based, so that works beautifully. And uh, the thing with the brush, especially when you have, um, when you have very detailed, very detailed ornaments, and the woody bands, they come in, I don't know, Sully, Theo, would you bend? How many, how many ornaments do you have? There's like one more beautiful than the other. And they're so versatile, you know, you don't have to use them in one piece, you know, as I'm just doing here now. I'm using basically, um, oh, I'm using basically this, uh, this one being cut up and oh, put on the ends. Whoops, yep, that's me. Chaos painting with Angela. <laughs> I'm always throwing things around. Hi, my Nase. So, okay. Hi, Nina. It's good that you're there. Oh, my friends, I'm so happy you're all there. So, you all helped me a lot through this year. You know, this is, um, this was, this was a hell of a ride this year. Absolutely. So, and I'm so grateful also for would you bend, you know, for all their products and for Solly and um, it's, it's a great family. I love it. And those products are absolutely amazing. So I love working with them. Um, when you use a wet brush to clean the, the glue out, you don't need to worry that you compromise uh, any or that, that you harm the woody bands. That's all fine. You just got to make sure that you apply enough glue because when you can see when it's uh, hot, um, it uh, the glue dries pretty quickly it's not that much of a problem you know you can get it reactivated when you um when you reheat it but therefore you just make sure you've got it nicely covered and all over covered you know not only in spots and uh, thinking oh it's going to to spread out just make sure you've got it completely covered everything which squeezes out on the sides you've, you've just seen you can um, you can take off. So this is going to go here. Same thing. Put it down on the edge. It's already cooled down. So I don't want to break it. So I'm going to use my heat gun straight away. So. Oh, thank you, Sally. That's sweet. Now this is going to look totally different at the end. You know, this this is the intention of it. If you have, you know, some plain furniture, whatever, some broken furniture, 
There's loads of things you can do with it. And uh, you can use it uh, not only on furniture like I'm doing at the moment. You can also use it on flower pots. You can use it. Uh, I've made some ornaments last week. Uh, you probably can't see the Christmas tree in the background at the moment. But uh, I've done some ornaments also with events. So I'm just pushing it a little bit forwards, those uh, little things at the end, because I want to have it right to the edge. You can make picture frames, whatever. Mm. Take bond. Yes. Nina, hi to Spain. I hope you're all right, girl. So press it nicely down to make sure that it snuggles nicely onto the surface. And it's cooling down in the shape basically you are forcing it into. If you've done it wrong, you can, you could um, replace it by reheating it and taking it off. That also works. So don't worry. If it's not perfect on the first go, this is not um, this is not a disaster. Everything can be everything can be saved, and you can also reuse them. You know, when you whatever um, decide that you want it anymore and you want to have different things on there, you heat them back up and you can take them off. I mean, not heating them up just like um, with some warm water, but uh, hi Jill. So, uh, Betty, you're the best. You are the best. Thank you. So if anybody else would like to share the love and sprinkle this video, I'll be very happy. And also, if you don't do that yet, uh, follow me on my page. So that'll be absolutely sweet also if you come over and do that. So, so I'm taking the excess uh, glue off here now. This is going to be painted over at the end anyway, but um, still I wanna I wanna have like the bigger blobs of glue out of the way. So set. As I said, this piece will be continued next week. So now we come to the middle piece. What's the time? 23 minutes. We still have some time. So shall move you to the middle. Let's already start now. Hang on. I think I will go to the other side. Here. So, uh, would you, ben, if you would like to put the ornaments in there, it's the 1729, the 1245, and the 2157. Those are the ones I am using tonight. So, sure that we have the middle okay Here we go so okay can you see that guys everybody who knows me <laughs> i'm not into measuring i did measure this time guys <laughs> what do you think i'm usually not measuring so you can see even this big piece is getting nice and bendy, you know, obviously as this is pretty, pretty thick, you know, this needs longer to heat up and uh, just uh, also longer to cool down. And I don't want to have it like completely bent over, but I want to make sure that it has good contact with, you know, this, this surface. I'm not worried about that it can break in between because they are so solid, those uh, two boards. So um, they, they stuck together, you know, by a frame on the outside. So I'm not worried that anything can happen to that. So again here, I'm going to apply my wood glue, nice and generous. You know, don't, as I said, don't just put it on like this and think, you know, it'll squeeze out. Don't do that. Just really make sure you're covering the whole surface of this ornament and um, go from there. So, and it's like they have trims, you know, they have such beautiful trims. And as I said, the nice thing about them is that you, 
you can um, once you've applied them even on um, on shaped surfaces oh hang on what's that Alexa stop She is having a mind of her own. She knows my, my, you know, the music I love. <laughs> I don't know where that just came from. Okay. Um, what was I saying? You can paint them beforehand if you want to. You can paint them after you put them on. You can use any paint you wish. You can use, um, you can use acrylic paint. You can chalk, use uh, chalk paints, chalk mineral paints, and everything works just fine. And you can paint them beforehand and afterwards. You can use stain also. You can stain them just like wood. They are porous, so they soak up the stains also. So you can see I'm making sure I've got uh, loads of glue on there. So usually I'm working with uh, as little as possible, but with glue pretty generous making sure i'm not going to drop that on the floor in a second so even when you you know when you broke one of those um items that's no problem also you can um stick them back together i'm not going to show that to you tonight hopefully i managed to get that on one piece <laughs> i'm sometimes a little clumsy but um i hope i'll manage to do that in one piece tonight okay so now i'm going to turn that over and see where i want to have it about the middle here so the bottom part is not uh, not quite because it's a little um shape to the side it's not um, so I've put glue in the middle also but uh, I'm going to clean that up afterwards from behind nobody's going to look behind it anyway so my heat gun is on the other side hang on guys now here I'm going to reheat that now and make sure that I'm sticking it nicely on there we'll start at the top here Be careful when you use a heat gun that you are not trying your fingers, your project, your project, anything like I sometimes do. So that's nice and handy now. So I'm going to hold that down for a second till it cools down a bit and snuggle it onto the surface a bit more. I don't want to have it like twisted around like this. But I want to make sure that like the whole top here, this top area is having good contact. So I'm laying with my whole weight on here now and I'm not compromising those uh, details at all. I could even, you know, move it, you know, this twist it a little out if I wanted to, but I don't, but uh, I could if I wanted to. It is going to cool down in this uh, shape basically. Give it a couple of seconds. Glue, and as I said, you do that. Uh... Yes, it is a headboard. I know this looks uh, different to the headboards you are used to. This is crude to the, you know, to the bed. This is actually a water bed I'm having for my back. A bit of back problems. So, okay. So now do the same thing to the bottom part. Heat it back up. Even if the glue has dried on the back now, it will be reactivated now by the heat. And put it back on there. So there we go. Um, Solly, I think this is going to be too late. If you have another 10 minutes, I will do that. Um, if you want to stop now, 
I just wanted to put that on because I wanted to know where I start with the stencil. Have we decided which stencil we are using? Hi, Dana. Have we decided which stencil we are using? The um, Raining in Paris or the um, Hollywood and Wine? I think Paris was the, was the choice. So, baby wipe. Around here. Around there. I didn't want to shape that, you know, at the bottom around. This can stay like this. That's fine for me. It's uh, stuck on here and it's pretty solid. Nothing's going to happen to it and it's stuck on the top here nicely onto that. But that's the main thing. Okay, then we do some stenciling. Okay. This is going to be ray stenciling as um, I am going to use um, the posh pigments and the patinas after at the end when this is going to be painted. But uh, there we're going to go for the next time because the ray stenciling is going to dry. So let's see. Let's see. Come on. Which one? Paris. Okay. Paris. Oh, thank you, Jill. That's sweet. Jill, you are Dixie Bell retailer in Jersey, aren't you? So this is gonna go. So as we're going to have the ornaments on the top here, you know, those those are gonna go on the top here. The stenciling is just going to be at the bottom there. This is something you can lean up to at the end, you know, so uh, I don't want to have like too much in the back. This is more the top of the back, which is going to be fine. Thank you, Betty. So uh, there we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty stencil. Pretty, pretty, pretty stencil. So I'm going to go right up to the end here. I'm going to tape that down a little bit. Um, I usually like to work free-handed. I'm just going to do that for so just gonna go let's see about like this. As I said, I usually work free-handed, but uh, sometimes I think it's better to um, to secure the things, you know, maybe it's not, maybe it's not, we'll see, we will see, um, I'm using, um, I'm using the Dixie Mud by Dixie Bell for the race stenciling now, and the fun, <laughs> oh, thank you guys, you're sweet, so, Obviously, so the mud by Dixie Bell is, um, well, as the name says, it is mud. And um, I'm just going to apply that with a spatula. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'm just printing it on here. I'm not quite sure if that's going to like I wanted, but we'll see that in a minute. Those stencils by um, Posh Chalk, they are nice and um, thick, so um, you can, you know, they're also heat resistant. You can do nicely the ray stenciling. It is lifting a little bit at the end there. I'm not sure if this is um, coming out nicely, but um, if it's not, I can always redo it. I think this is because of the taping down. Maybe I should work freehanded as I usually do. <laughs> that's um, that's uh, some things you shouldn't change if you used to. You know, sometimes I think I'm doing. I'm going to do that a little more professional, and it doesn't work out for me. But whatever. So 
And there's going to be some fun at the end done with um, with uh, the posh chalk pigments and stuff. I think I'm going to leave the end like this. Let's see. Let's see what I've done here, if that works. And okay, you can see there's a little bit muddy there. Take that off and pretend it's supposed to be like that. This is not about perfection. This was basically because it was lifting up there. It is lifting up there also. So, uh, but this is such a pretty stencil. So, um, yes, they are nice and thick. Um, you can, Donna, you can, uh, you can mud any stencil, you know, I do stencils myself, um, which are the thin material and, uh, that works fine. You know, those are really solid, you know, um, so that's, um, that's, um, yeah, that's, uh, you know, they don't break easy, you know, they, they, they last forever if you take care of them. So, um. Thank you, Heike. <laughs> Thank you. So if you are going a little bit for the um, for the rustic look, as I always do, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to continue that uh, stencil like right over to the end at the bottom there and on the other side. Also, that's what we're going to do. And um, those uh, will be added on and next week we'll see if we add some more wood events or if we're going to do some um painting so you can see how we can paint the uh the wood events also my friends so i'm gonna come back into the screen now just for a second you have to bear with me i'm sorry <laughs> here I am. oh here i am Here I am, guys. Okay, so my friends, thank you so much for being with me tonight. Uh, Woody Bent, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, next week, we'll bring you this um, headboard. <laughs> and uh, I hope you have a lovely um, New Year's Eve tomorrow night and that you. Um, yeah, that you basically start the new year um, nicely, probably a little better than you used to, but uh, the main thing is that we all stay okay, and I'm sure 21 is going to be a much better year, guys. So um, I'm looking forward to um, see you next Wednesday again uh, on the Woody Band page for continuing this uh, headboard, and uh, thank you so much for being with me tonight. You guys stay safe and take care. And again, if you have any questions in the replay, Put hashtag replay and put the questions in. I will come back later to check for those. You're welcome, Dana. You're welcome, Dana. Um, and if you haven't done it yet, pop over to my page. Leave me a like there. If you want to shop the products, make sure you check out for a local retailer on the Wikibank page. And if you haven't got one, I will be very happy to help you out. So, but uh, please check for your local retailer first. Guys, thank you so much. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>